Dear boss, I write this note to you to tell you of my plight. And at the time of writing, I am not a pretty sight. My body is all black and blue, my face a deadly gray. And I hope you'll understand why Patty's not at work today. I was working on the 14th floor, some bricks I had to clear. And throwing them down from such a height was not a good idea. The foreman was not very pleased, he'd been an awful sod. He said I had to take them down the ladder in my hod. But clearing all those bricks by hand, it was so awful slow. So I hoisted up a barrel and secured a rope below. But in my haste to do the job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. So I went below, let off the rope, and the barrel fell like lead. And clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. I shot up like a rocket, and to my surprise, I found that halfway up, I met the bloody barrel coming down. Well, the barrel struck my shoulder as to the floor it sped. And when I reached the top, I struck the pulley with my head. I still hung on, though numbed and shocked from this almighty blow, as the barrel spilled out half the bricks, 14 floors below. Now when these bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, I then outweighed the barrel and I started down once more. Still clinging tightly to the rope, I headed for the ground, and I fell onto the building bricks that were all scattered round. Well, as I lay sprawling on the floor, I thought I'd pass the worst. When the barrel struck the pulley and didn't the bottom burst, a shower of bricks fell down on me. I didn't have a hope, and as I was losing consciousness, I let go the bloody rope, well, the barrel being heavier than it started down once more, and it landed right across me as I lay there on the floor. It broke some ribs in my left arm, and I can only say that I hope you'll understand why Patty's not at work today.